Hello everyone, you are watching the Amazing Facts channel and here is the 10 largest abandoned ships you need to see. From strange cruise liners to the biggest oil tankers. Let's start off with number 10, the MVE Evangelia. This is one of the few ships on our list that was actually involved in the Second World War. But that had nothing to do with its ultimate fate. The MVE and Vangelia had many names. It took its main voyage as the Empire Strength, and it was designated as a refrigerated cargo ship. The main route of the ship was England to Australia, and eventually it traveled to Argentina as well. But right now, you can still see the remains of the Vangelia if you're willing to travel to the Black Sea. It's in very good condition, considering the ship ran aground in 1968. Sooner or later, the sea will claim it as its own, but until then, enjoy the rusted metal, I guess. Moving on to number nine, the Zila Shipwreck. Zila was a fishing ship, and it's also the smallest ship on this list. Built in 1975, the ship did its job until the late 2000s, and by 2008, it was on its way to Bombay to be used as scrap metal. Unfortunately, the Zila stow line snapped and the ship headed for the shore. Moving on to number eight, the MV Argo Merchant. This oil tanker story begins in 1953, and believe you me, it's murky to say the least. The Argo Merchant was involved in over 12 major maritime accidents. The ship was grounded twice, but the third and final incident was the worst. The MV Argo Merchant found itself too close to the shore southeast of Nantucket Island in Massachusetts. What followed was one of the worst environmental disasters on the East Coast. On December 21st, 1976, only six days after grounding, the ship broke apart and 7.7 .7 million gallons of oil emptied out into the ocean. Luckily, the winds carried the oil slick away from the shore. Now, number seven, New Carissa. Owned by the Japanese company Nippon Yusan Kashia, the New Carissa was a dry bulk freighter which primarily transported wood chips. Now, if you're wondering what the hell is a 36,000 ton ship doing carrying around wood chips, you aren't the only one. As these stories usually go, the ship's crew were warned about entering Coos Bay. Due to bad weather, the ship was empty at the time and the captain ordered the crew to drop anchor two miles off the coast. The weather conditions got worse and before you know it, this ship started moving. The worst part was that the crew did not even notice the movement. The ship ran aground. A while later, it broke. Then before all the fuel has spilled out causing an ecological disaster, it was burned with napalm. The freighter was towed out to sea and sunk. The stern was part of the scenery until 2008 when it was dismantled. Surely some metal is left over in the shallow waters near Coos Bay. Number six, the SS Palo Alto. Built in Oakland, California, the SS Palo Alto was a concrete ship. Wait, 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 what? You heard that right, a concrete ship. It turns out it was a lot cheaper to find the materials, but the labor and operating costs were higher than usual, so fair trade-off, I guess. Anyway, the ship was completed in 1919. Too late to see any action in the war. In 1929, a company decided to turn it into an amusement park. A pier was built to reach the ship, but not even two years later, the company went bankrupt. Nothing of note has happened since then. The ship can still be found at the Seacliff Beach, and apparently in 2005, it was found out that the concrete ship was leaking fuel. Why it still had fuel in its tank almost 100 years later is a mystery for another time. Number five, the MV Cornelia. This shipwreck was also tricky to find. I have some contradicting information on the exact name of the ship. I found sources that listed it as the MV Cornelia and others that called it the Demetrius. So if anyone can shed some light on the subject, that would be great. The ship was built in 1950 and its history is a bit mysterious. Stories of smuggling cigarettes and ghosts have been circling since it wrecked in 1981. The cigarette smuggling story is much more believable. 
Sorry, ghost hunters. It goes something like this. The Mitros was seized at port after contraband cigarettes were found on board. Instead of paying the fines and dealing with authorities, the ship was purposely released from the port and left to run aground, where all the evidence was set on fire. So what do you think? Plausible? Number 4. Temple Hall Finding information on this shipwreck was actually harder than I thought. Built in 1954, the Temple Hall changed many owners during its years of operation. On a voyage from San Pedro, the ship was stuck between a rock and a hard wave, so to say. A bad weather, heavy seas, and no luck to be found. The Temple Hall, now known as the Telamon, ran aground near Canary Island. It didn't help that the maintenance records for the ship was abysmal. You can still find it in the exact same spot, some 40 years after it's wrecked. Number 3. The MV Siladang Ayu In 2004, the MV Siladang Ayu was halfway through a routine trip from Seattle, Washington to China with a cargo of 66,000 tons of soybean. Alright, just pause for a second. Who else is amazed by the amount of cargo these ships can handle? And more importantly, where the hell do you get 66,000 tons of soybeans to begin with? That's just crazy. Everything was going well until a small malfunction with the engine. Well, it was small at first, but with each passing hour, more things went wrong. The ship started drifting towards land at 1.6 knots, or 1.8 miles per hour. The crew was desperately trying to fix the issue with the engine, but time and weather were against them. Tugboats failed and anchoring failed as well. The ship was headed for land, and there was no stopping. During the rescue of the crew, a rogue wave broke over the ship and hit the helicopter. Unfortunately, the helicopter crashed into the ocean. Six crew members were never seen again. Number two, here we go. Number two, Mega One Triton. With a name like that one, you might expect something a bit bigger, but life ain't fair, kid. During Hurricane Sandy, Mega One Triton was one of the unlucky vessels that was ran aground due to the weather. Since 2012, it's become a tourist destination for those that are interested in urban exploration. The local government strongly advises the public to stay away from the wrecked ship, uh, since the ship is deteriorating very fast. But I'm not sure anyone is hearing their advice. There were plans to remove the ship from the coastline by December of 2017, but here we are and it still hasn't happened yet. Finally, we have made it to number one. I have been waiting to write about this cruise ship for months. Now I finally found enough pictures to entertain you with. Built in the 70s under the name of Spirit of London, this cruise ship enjoyed a long and lustrous career on the high seas, providing comfort and entertainment for many people, but all good things must come to an end. And in February of 2016, the Ocean Dream met Old Lady Fate. What's crazy is that the cruise ship was sold for scrap metal in 2009. But before it was destroyed, another cruise company bought it. It turns out that those guys, well, weren't cool at all. They left the ship near Lim Shabang in Thailand. The cruiser liner was abandoned for over a year by crew and maintenance. It finally capsized in February of 2016. I would definitely suggest not booking a cruise on the Ocean Dream, even though the website is still offering it. There is evidence that a company tried to salvage the ship, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. There we go. That's all 10 abandoned ships. I hope you enjoyed learning about these amazing abandoned ships. Be sure to leave us a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to The Amazing Facts for fascinating videos. Thanks for watching.